In this tutorial, we will learn how to highlight and select a game object at the one time on mouse hover and click. This will help select the model we managed to upload in the previous tutorials so we can transform it later. Let's open the Unity project from the previous tutorial. In the Unity editor, let's create two new materials. One to temporarily give to the object when it is highlighted and the other is also temporarily when it is selected. Open the materials folder we created in a previous tutorial. Right click and select create and material. I will assign a magenta color to this material. So I will name it magenta. I am also planning to make the material transparent. So I will select transparent for the surface type inside the inspector. I will assign a magenta color for the base map by adding values of 255 for both the red and blue, 0 for the green. I will also change the alpha value to add a bit of transparency to the material. 175 should be OK. This material will be for when the object is selected. Feel free to select another color based on your preference. I will duplicate this material to create the highlight material. Press Ctrl or Command and D to duplicate the material. I will assign a lighter magenta color to this material. So I will rename it to magenta light. And I will change the green value of the base map color to 125 to make the color lighter. Later, we will add a C-sharp code that detect when the mouse is over an object. However, we may not need all objects in the scene to be selectable. So we will make the code to check for only object with a particular tag. I will make that tag name selectable. Let's add the tag by selecting any game object in the hierarchy. Click the drop down for the tag and select add tag. Click on the plus sign, type the tag name and click save. This will add our new tag to the tags list. You can check by selecting any game object and checking for the name of the new tag in the tag list. In the previous tutorials, we added the code that loads a model on the runtime. Now we want this model to be selectable. So I will add the tag name to that model using the c -sharp script. Let's open the open file script responsible for opening and loading the OBJ model. Let's create a method that goes through the model game object and its children and assigns tags to them. I will call it set tag. This method takes the transform of the model, which is the parent game object, and the tag name we want to assign. I will loop through the children's transforms of the parent transform object. We get the child game object from the child transform using the game object method. Then we assign the tag name to the game object using the tag method. Finally, I will call the set tag method on the child game object if it has children on its own. We will use a Unity Raycast to detect if a game object is under the mouse pointer. This ray will only detect objects that have a collider component attached to them. So we will create another method that loops through the model game object and its children and add the box collider component to them. Similar to the set tag method, this method loops through the children of the game object the only exception here is that this method assign a box collider component to the child game object using the add component method. Okay, we are ready to use these two methods. Under the parts where we assign a material to the model, let's call the set collider method and pass it to the transform of the model as a parameter. And call the set tag method and pass the model transform and the tag name as parameters. The tag's name matches the tag we added in the Unity editor earlier. 
OK, let's save the file and return to the Unity editor. In this tutorial, we created the materials for the game object hover and selection. We also added a tag to determine which objects are selectable and added this tag and collider components to the game object we want to select. In the next tutorial, we will add the script to implement them.